Hi there SharePoint enthusiasts! Today I'm gonna show you how to use an MCP server to interact with SharePoint to read, create and update data in any SharePoint site of your choice. MCP or Model Context Protocol bridges AI models and data sources. I'm building this MCP server to interact with sites, lists, navigation and permissions among other things. It's designed for the cloud desktop app, but other MCP clients like Klein and Roo should also work. I'm gonna start with a blank site. First, I'm gonna tell Cloud to create a new SharePoint list for storing projects. Then I'm gonna tell it to create columns, views, and sample data. And lastly, I'm gonna tell Cloud to add the list to the site navigation and rename the site to PMO Hub. Did that spark your interest? Great! Well, if you're a Microsoft 365 Global Admin with a cloud subscription, I can show you how to set it up. Let's get going. Clone or download this repository. Open a PowerShell window and run this script to create an Azure App registration. This script will also create a self-signed certificate in your computer's certificate store, which will be used for authentication against SharePoint. Once that's done, you'll find the Cloud Desktop config file that's compatible with Cloud Desktop. Make sure you have Node.js version 22 or later installed on your computer. Now, download and install Cloud Desktop. Launch it and go to File Settings Developer. Click Edit Config and open the Cloud Desktop config file in your text editor. Paste the following into the config and update the MCP servers section with your values. You can also take the values directly from the JSON file generated by the PowerShell script. Save the config file and restart Cloud Desktop. Make sure to quit the app completely via the taskbar icon. And that's it. We're ready to control SharePoint sites via Cloud Desktop. You can tell it to show the list from this SharePoint site, update list items, manage SharePoint group membership, copy list with data, and even update list views. Let's do a few practical demos. I'm gonna tell Cloud to create a new SharePoint list called Latest AI News and populate it with today's news. We'll give it a few moments and here you go, everything I asked for. If you wanna go deeper and see the full power of MCPs, I can tell Cloud to import a CSV file directly from my computer to a new SharePoint list. I'm using the Desktop Commander MCP in combination with the SharePoint Server MCP. And there is the entire CSV file imported successfully. For the full list of available operations, check the GitHub project page. If you're concerned that Cloud will delete or change any of your critical data, just disable delete and update operations. I can see lots of ways to use this MCP server. If you're interested, give it a try and let me know what you think. 